between now and the World Championships. We'll see what happens over the rest of the summer. So that's in Duisburg at the uh, end of August, I believe. Event number two, start list here. Who, who stands out here, I suppose, apart from the Olympic champions, Francina Wega and uh, Tina Dietze, who in qualifications, they, they were strolling and they still managed to, uh, to, to, to obliterate the opposition. New Zealanders in your picture now, they're Tennille Hatton and Rachel Dodwell. I expect them just after yesterday and they're, they're, they're feeling pretty good about things. It's going to be in Poznan in a couple of weeks' time. Hopefully it'll be off in, 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 in a minute or so. How's the Canadian team going in general? So you just just come over from your nationals? And well, that's right. Last weekend we had our selection trials in Canada, and uh, both these crews look strong. And, uh, in fact, um, having two crews in the final is, a, is an incredible achievement here. The Una Lounder, Alexa Irvin crew is uh, is a bit of a surprise. Not uh, not totally though. They're very uh, good athletes, but to make this final and their first time together in Europe is excellent. And of course, you see Genevieve Beauchamp, Sevigny, and Casey Fraser seated in lane five, which indicates they had a very good time in the uh, preliminaries. Well, so. I walked in with those two this morning, and they were feeling good and confident. So they wouldn't give a prognosis, but they said, mm. uh, you know, they they, 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 they they gave the win. So they got a good lane. Next to them, they've got the Germans who might motivate them a little bit. If they can hang on, perhaps, they, uh, can they just see in the qualifications, the Canadians look good at it. Yeah, they did. Here we go. They're off anyway. It looks like already uh, Rebbe and Dietz have got a, a meter on the rest of them. Very strong off the line as usual. Yeah, they're, they're turning it into an exhibition, and we've only had 15 meters of the race already. Wow, quite a start. Yeah, half boat lead. Who else have we got from Serbia? We've got the Moldovan sisters. We've got Nicolina, 23. Oliveira, 14 months older than her. They actually did well last week. They won the K2 200 and got into the final of the the, the 500s. Got at the top of the lane. We got Anna Roxana Lechachi and Victoria Schwartz. Remember Schwartz? She was one of the two two uh, paddlers who actually, with Yvonne showing from the last race, won the gold and Segged a couple of years ago in the K2 500. So obviously experience here. But in the middle lane, it's uh, it, it, it's looking very good at the moment. Well, and the uh, Canadian crew looking very strong there uh, in second place at this point in time. They'll be very happy with this uh, position. Actually, the, the screen shows third, but uh, right in the thick of it. And uh, the Belarus, the, uh, they came fifth last week in Segod. That's Alexander Grishna and Marta Krishkevich. Uh, they're, they're, they're young, they're active, and the Belarus is obviously a top nation in this sport. Very impressive. We're coming into the last 200 metres, past 200 metres, and it's very much a case of controlling the race. Remember these two... Uh, Francesca and uh, Tina, they actually didn't race in the pairs last week. They raced in the individual race, and they both stated that they want to make a mark for themselves in the next four years in the, in the K1s, but they just want to show how they... But they, it, it's close, isn't it? It's coming close. Very close. Boy, impressive race. And so the last 80 metres to go. We do have the Germans in control. But the... Belarusis are certainly coming at them. And it's going to be a third for Canada. So, so excellent. Germany taking over the line. It looks like the Belarus pair just did enough, but the uh, the Canadians are bouncing up and down in their face. They're going to be happy with that. They'll be very happy. Uh, we just hired a new uh, coach, Laszlo Toth, who is a Hungarian, to uh, lead the women's discipline. And uh, the team is under a bit of rebuilding here, and this is a great start to that rebuild. And Genevieve, who retired a couple of years ago, she's not regretting coming back. Genevieve, yeah, yeah, very happy to be back, and she's in great form. Saw her in Florida this year and uh, training very hard. So this is uh, this is a great sign. But the picture showing the Olympic champions, the stars, and, and why not? Great shot of the Germans. This is a very strong, powerful crew, and they demonstrated that from about the second stroke in. And also, they they showed uh, they were they were part of the foursome who actually got the unfortunately for them the, that they lost the Olympics. Most people would win a silver medal, but they actually lost, didn't they? <laughs> well, that ongoing uh, rivalry between Germany and Hungary. Just have a little pause in between racing. If the uh, if the girls are ready uh, ready for, for the action, we're going to have the results uh, for the we're going to have the medal sorry, sorry, for the K1 500. Confirmation of the unofficial results: Germany, Belarus, Canada moving down. The Serbia, Germany, Austria, Finland, Canada, and New Zealand. Uh,